Today I'm sharing a few short and sweet reviews of some of the books I read in January so you can decide whether you want to read them or give them a skip. The first book I'm sharing is Lunar Love by Lauren Kung Jessen. This was one of my book of the month selections for January and I actually read it in the same month that I got it, which is shocking, uh, but I was so excited to see them have a romance selection, I couldn't help myself. So this book features two individuals who have an adorable meet cute outside of a bakery. One of them, Olivia, runs a matchmaking business in the city, and it's based entirely on the Chinese Zodiac. And she highly values doing things in person, having people meet up and meet with them so that she can find the best compatible matches. The other is Bennett, who has just developed a new app, also based on the Chinese Zodiac. So they quickly discover that they are competitors. And while Bennett is a little more open to both of them existing, Olivia feels like this new app is an absolute attack on her business. And she starts to fake date Bennett to try and take him down. I loved learning more about the Chinese Zodiac and how the different years are compatible, as well as all the different factors that go into it. So this was a really cute book. I gave it five stars. The next book is Twisted Games, which is the second in Anna Huang's Twisted Love series. So Twisted Love is the first book, but you don't really need to read it to enjoy this one. There are a few side characters who make an appearance, but the story really focuses on the two main characters in Twisted Games. So Bridget is the star of this one, and she is a princess who has been living in America for many years while she attends college, but she is suddenly called back home with a set of whole new responsibilities. As part of her royal duties, she has a bodyguard, and the bodyguard she's been living with for years ends up having a baby, so he has to take paternity leave, and she gets a new bodyguard who is Reese, or Mr. Larson, as she continuously calls him. Now, Reese is completely different from her former bodyguard. He is stoic and serious and very focused on her safety. So they immediately clash because she wants as much freedom as she can get. But there is an undercurrent of attraction there, and while they both try to stay professional as much as possible, they just can't help themselves. So this story focuses a lot on the attraction that's building between the two, despite both of them knowing it's a forbidden romance. The actual laws of Bridges Country say that she cannot marry a commoner if she is going to rule someday. So she's not only fighting against just general stigma, it's an actual law that she's trying to overturn. They both have to decide, is it worth it going down the path of something that they know can never happen? But this book was phenomenal. It was very steamy, uh, but also a really good read. I probably liked Twisted Love a little bit more, so I'm just going to give this one four and a half stars. The third book I read is Begin Again by Emma Lord. So she is one of the queens of YA romances. I have loved all of the books of hers that I've read so far, so I was excited to get her latest, which just came out in January. Begin Again features a young girl who is attending college and she is trying to manage a long distance relationship that she left at home while also figuring out her path at this university that she's been dying to attend. She has some family connections there and she is dealing with the weight of those family connections while also trying to make her own path. So we have a little bit of romance with the resident assistant on her floor, as well as a lot of self-discovery and understanding, you know, what's best for her as she gets through these first couple of years at college. This was really cute. Um, it's exactly what you would expect from like a young college romance with a lot of self-discovery and great friendships and an adorable romance as well. So I would put this at a solid four stars. The final book that I'm sharing is While We Were Dating by Jasmine Guillory. So fun story behind this one, I just started a new challenge for 2023 in which my husband and my mom picked out a book for me to read each month based on what's already on my bookshelves. So this is a TBR challenge that's forcing me to read the physical books I already have in the house. So While We Were Dating was actually picked by my son with my husband's help. He liked it because there's a car on the cover, which is, you know, what a great reason to pick a book. Um, but Jasmine Guillory has been, I've been more of a fan of her recent books. So this one was actually really good. It features a Hollywood star who kind of gets involved with a ad agency manager who is working on a commercial with her. The Hollywood star ends up kind of being smitten with one of the men who's working on a commercial with her. 
and they decide that it makes sense to start fake dating for just a short period of time in the hopes that it can help both of them with their careers. But as these stories always go, the fake dating turns into something more, although neither of them expected this to go anywhere and have their own reasons for not getting into relationships. They find something in each other that they never expected. So this was great overall. It wasn't my favorite of hers. I probably loved Buy the Book as my absolute favorite of Jasmine Guillory's, but I'm going to give it four stars. I hope you found some new books to check out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more book reviews.